Roma away from home in the Champions League, followed by Manchester City also away from home in the Premier League. We've played three games since the last episode offline, so we'll start off with that. Before we actually get into the video though, be sure to drop a like on this video if you are enjoying this series, and if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. But let's jump into this episode anyway. So, as you can see, we do have Roma away from home today in the Champions League. I'll cover the Champions League in just a moment, but we have played three games since the last episode. So let's go and take a look at them. So where we left off was against Roma, as you can see, the one all draw at home, which we um, managed to get a very, very late equaliser, which was an own goal. I didn't realise at the time, it was only after the match I realised it was an own goal when I was doing my post-match press conference. Um, and then we played Swansea and we just absolutely tore Swansea to shreds. It was a real good game, to be fair. We were just scoring goals for fun. Um, we won by five goals to nil. Real com confident performance, you know, you can see the... Uh, the stats here, we, we dominated proceedings, to be fair. Swansea, you know, it's it shows that they had quite a few shots. Not loads, but they had a few. It, it wasn't really like that, to be fair. The shots they did have didn't really trouble us. Harry Kane hits a hat-trick. Can't complain at that, can you? Uh, Christian Eriksen with two assists. But, you know, bearing in mind, he's not actually really in the team permanently. So, you know, that's good to see. Deli Ali also getting on the score sheet as well as Son. So, for that game, that was that. Then we played uh, Crystal Palace. Twice. We played them in the EFL Cup, uh, which I heavily rotated for, and we beat them by one goal to nil at home, although they did actually give us quite a good game of it. It was actually a real, real tough game, to be fair. And I'll just show you the formation because it's actually quite relevant. So we played our usual formation, uh, the you know, the 4-1-2-2-1-4-3-3, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's called the 4-1-2-3 DM wide in FM. That was what we went with. As you can see, it was rotated, but we did manage to get the victory. And then I kind of made a bit of a difficult decision. I wrote, I didn't really rotate, to be honest, against them in the league. But we did come out with a 2-0 victory. Again, Harry Kane getting on the score sheet. Um, but I said formation's relevant. That's because we reverted back to this, like, 5 or 3 at the back, however you want to see it. You know, because these push on, he drops in. So 3, or you can look at it as a 5 at the back. Um, you know, it looks a very, very odd formation, but it, it just dominates possession and so on. As you can see, you know, that's away from home. You're having 60% possession. It works so well for us in FM60, and it's working all right for us so far. In the games we've used it in FM17, and as I said, we get a 2-0 victory away from home against uh, Crystal Palace. But another thing, Hugo Lloris is injured again. That's his third injury already in this, se in this series, to be fair. Let's have a look at this. Injuries. Look at that. He's had three injuries this season already. We're only in October, or we've just gone into November. But before that, he hasn't had an injury in eight years. What the hell is that about? That's absolutely ridiculous. He is going to miss the game today, but he should be back for the next game against Manchester City. It will be touch and go, but he will definitely miss the game against Roma. But let's go and get into that game anyway. Okay, another injury we've also had is Danny Rose. He's out for three weeks. This game is just literally full of injuries. It's, it's an actual joke. I've seen so many people complain about it. I've seen streamers getting, you know, injuries in pretty much every match. It is pretty horrible, to be honest. I'm just going to do that, and then we can pick from here. Now, as I said, I didn't really rotate too much, but, you know, there's a few players that are a bit tired, but they're not overly tired. They're not in the 80s, which is the main thing. Um, where is Moussa Dembele? Because he's going to be playing in this match. I want him as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Uh, Dyer Wanyama, that's right. Coutinho is an advanced playmaker on support. Lamella is an inside forward. Kane's an advanced forward. That looks pretty much right. Um, he's going to have to go and defend because he doesn't really like getting forward. That's what we're going to go with. Um, substitute, yeah, that's pretty. That's that's literally what we're going to go with. I'll change a few things when we get into the game. But this is a massive, massive match. Because as I said, I'm going to recap here on the Champions League. Barcelona are seven points clear of all of us after just three games. And then the rest of us are on two points. We're sitting bottom of the group. Which really isn't ideal at this stage. We need to be second because we're not going to qualify in first, that's a given, we're not going to win every single game and Barcelona lose every single game, if we're not going to manage to get second, then at least get third and get us into that Europa League, but I am aiming for second, we really, really desperately need to get into the Champions League knockout stages, I'm just going to send the assistant to that, I really can't be bothered speaking about that, I'm going quite defensive today, and um, we're just going to have to close, where is he, I'm going to, where, where's Totti, I'm going to close him down, I'm going to close Salah down, and Perotti, um, and I'm going to tackle Strootman hard, and De Rossi, and I'm also going to tackle Totti hard, uh, so that's what we're going to do for that, we'll go to team talk, passionate, um, give the fans, I expect that, 
doesn't really do much. Let's get into this game anyway and hopefully get our first victory in the Champions League. Totti he scored a free kick last time. My heart was in my mouth right there. We can't be giving them free kicks like on the edge of the box when we know they've got Totti. Totti, oh my word, that was literally in exactly the same place as where he scored against us at home. Every time they get a free kick, my heart is going to be in my mouth. Totti can cause you problems from any free kick, but we are maybe trying to cause them problems right now. I swear when Yama gets booked in every single match he plays in. Harry Kane, there we go. Get in, lads. We're leading in this one. The relief is real. I don't even like Tottenham. I'm just doing it for the base to save, but I am actually getting into it, to be fair. I thought it might not be the same connection as I had with the Liverpool save. Obviously, being a Liverpool fan, but you've just seen the passion there. We really, really need this victory. We're doing well in the league. We're top of the league. I didn't actually show you that, but we are top of the league. Okay, it's not very often I do this. I am going to make a change anyway, but can I just point you to Roma's tactic? I've just realised my face cam will be in the way, so I'll move it up. But look at that. What, what are they doing? What are they doing? They've got one goalkeeper, four at the back, two in midfield, and then they've not, they're have not they not playing with an attacker. They're not even playing with a false nine. They're just playing with four attacking midfielders. I, I don't think I've seen a team play like that before. That is really, really strange. Okay, so one of these changes is going to be fitness-based. I am going to bring on Kieran Trippier because he's, you know, fit, whereas Walker's getting a bit tired. I'm going to put him to defend as well. That just really helps us out, maybe ease some of the nerves. Um, who can Lamella come on? Yeah, so I'm going to bring Son on for Lamella. That just kind of makes sense. And that's what I'm going to do for now. And then if we're, we're still winning with like a minute to go, I'll make a change just to waste a bit of time. Just going to put us on contain. This really won't be the time to concede the goal, to be honest. Nothing's really happened in the second half except that shot. The first highlight, we're on extended highlights, by the way. The first highlight comes like 77 minutes into the game. That's absolutely crazy. The first highlights of the second half, anyway, that's what I mean. But we do have a 1-0 advantage away from home to uh, Roma, who were a decent team and were without Hugo Lloris in goal, which is good to see. As I said, they're playing some real crazy fucked-up formation. I've not seen anything like that before, to be honest. Go on, get forward there, son. Too engrossed in what we were doing. Harry Kane, oh, that's a big chance. Oh, it's a big chance. You've got to be putting that away at this stage of the game because if we go 2-0 up right now, then that's game over, isn't it? Okay, I said I'm going to be a bit of a scumbag if there's not too long left in the game. I'm going to bring Harry Kane off and bring Janssen on. There's literally two minutes left. They do have a highlight, but hopefully they don't score and then we can kill a bit of time with the substitution, but they are in behind for Lorenzi. There we go. It's gone out for a corner. Interesting to see. Yeah, so we have made our change. It's not really wasted too much time. Ball goes into the box. Warm deals with it. 30 seconds to go. This will be a big, big victory if we do get it. And it's looking like we probably will. We've just got to stay focused right now. 15 seconds to go. I can't see us losing this lead now. I think Janssen may have been offside. He actually wasn't. And it's a corner to ourselves. We have won this game. There's no way they're going to get the ball on the tack within the time that's left. Ball goes into the box. It is cleared. That should be full time any minute now. There we go. Full time. We have beaten Roma. What a huge victory that is. I can't even say like how much of a massive victory that is. The players aren't even asked. But there we go. That's why it's a big victory because Barcelona inevitably beat Leverkusen by three goals to nil. Barcelona, I'd imagine, let me, yeah, so Barcelona have qualified. They are through. But we now have a three-point advantage on the other guys. Yes, we've got to go away to Leverkusen, which will be tough. But... If we can do that to Roma, then we should certainly be able to do it to Leverkusen. Then we've got to play Barcelona at home, but we could have it wrapped up by then. Because if Barcelona beat Roma and we beat Leverkusen, then we'll have a six-point lead over the others with one game to go. And we'll be done and dusted. Even if we get a draw in that match, it will be perfect. Okay, so let's move on to the big game against Manchester City in the Premier League. Okay, so we are back for the game against Manchester City. I don't really agree with the fact that we are the early kickoff on a Saturday given that we played on the Wednesday in the Champions League, but, you know, I can't really complain at that. We are actually top. Uh, I didn't really talk you through this before. We are top of the Premier League. Manchester City are second, but even if they win today, they won't go top on goal difference, so we will stay top unless they beat us by, like, four goals or five, so it's, it's unlikely that that's going to happen. I hope I've not jinxed myself right there, but if we go to stages, you'll see we've played 10, won 7, drawn 3, lost 0. Whereas City have actually lost three games, although they've won every single game at home. 
but they've not really been tested at home yet, so maybe we can provide them with that test. We've scored 21, the same as Man City, but we've only conceded two in 10 games, which is, that's phenomenal. I, you know, I can't even complain at that. Um, Harry Kane is joint top scorer with Daniel Sturridge on 11 goals in 10 games, which is really, really impressive. Uh, average ratings as well, Kyle Walker, Harry Kane, both up there. Harry Kane with highest man of the matches, Hugo Lloris with most clean sheets, Eric Lamella with m uh, second most assists, so... Everything's going pretty well for us. And Okay, so what I'm actually going to do today, Hugo Lloris has not come back in. Despite the fact he can play, I'm going to stick with Vaughn. Um, just purely because it's probably wise. I'm going to actually swap him to a goalkeeper. Um, and we're going to go with this weird formation. It's just basically to try and keep possession because no Man City are going to want to. So we've got to try and counteract that. Uh, ben Davies is obviously, obviously our usual left back. But he can only play left back. He can't play there. And despite the fact... Um, Vimmer is actually a centre-back, he actually plays that role better, so that's why I've gone with him, obviously Danny Rose would usually play, but he is out injured, so let's get into this game against Man City, it is going to be tough, let's be honest, you know, it, it's it's going to be really, really tough, uh, what's this, Nolito is out, um, blah, 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 click that, so there's City's team, they're going with Bravo, Clichy, Stones, Company, Zabaleta, Gundogan, Fernandinho, De Bruyne, Silva, Sané and Aguero, absolutely ridiculous team, they've got, you know, Yaya Torre and Sterling on the bench, type of players they have at their disposal uh, is pretty pretty impressive to be fair right we've got to uh, show a few more of them onto the weaker foot to be honest we're not showing enough of them on the weaker foot uh, probably tackle Gundogan hard as well and De Bruyne it probably just makes sense that's what we're going to go with uh, that's that's yeah that's pretty much right I'm actually going to see what that does I'm going to close down on the goalkeeper just see if it does anything to be fair We'll go through to the team talk, and let's see what we can say, this gives uh, opportunity, it's worked relatively well, let's get into this game and hopefully get some kind of result against Man City, I would ideally like a victory, it may not be possible, City may just blow us completely out the water, but if we get a draw, I wouldn't complain at that to be honest. City do have a corner though, De Bruyne puts it in, oh my word, that was nearly 1-0 already. City are starting this game well, and Wanyama... Already given free kicks away, Fernandinho to maybe strike, he does, and it's wide. Lamella to Dyer. Be nice if we just nick a goal, because then it really puts City under pressure. That's not going to help, though. Here comes City with Leroy Sané, Aguero, who can... Oh, my word, he nearly finished. I was about to say who can score from any position, but he nearly did, to be fair. City going to try and score once again, just before half-time. They've got another chance. They are coming forward. Just going to stay strong, keep them out till half-time, that's really, that's stupid, that's so frustrating, why did you give them so much space? Oh, for fuck's sake, it's it's literally so obvious, you should just see it happening, and you're like, why is that happening? Why have you just given them so much room in our box, so much room on that wing? Half-time, 1-0 to Man City, and it's so frustrating because that goal was just so obvious. I don't get how the players didn't see that that was about to happen. I'm going to change it back to our usual formation. Some players are fucking knackered. I mean, how's Eric Lamella on 59%? He's not even injured. That's ridiculous. I'm going to have to bring Son uh, onto the pitch. Uh, Davies is also coming back into the game at a uh, left back. It's not going well for us. Right, I'm dragging Harry Kane off and bringing Vincent Janssen on because it's just, it's, it's dire to watch. I may move Dembele up, he doesn't actually really like that, so I'll bring him back, but I'm actually just going to put him on an advanced playmaker role instead of box-to-box, -box, just to try and get back into the game. Maybe if we can nick a goal, that would really, really help us. I'm just going to encourage the lads, about 10 minutes to go now. I mean, it's, it, it's going to get to a stage where it's all or nothing, so I might as well just throw our players forward. We are losing anyway, it's not as if we're already drawing. Janssen shot again, just too weak. I'm going to go attacking because if City score another... It's fine, isn't it? We're already losing, but if we get a goal, it's worth it. Really nice tackle there by Wanyama. We've got to try and get a break on Coutinho. Janssen's through. Come on, lads. You've got to score. Get in. There we go. Come on. We're back in this game. Fucking get in. Oh, I don't know what City's defence were doing, but what a ball from Coutinho. And Vic Vincent Janssen gets in behind to finish. We just cannot concede now. If we go and concede, I will fume. De Bruyne is down our end. Here's Gundogan. De Bruyne again. Sané. It's cleared. Go on, Janssen. Go on. Go on, lads. Get us a winner. Oh, man, you've got to be scoring that. We're getting in behind. That's the thing. We are getting in behind. Right, I'm going to actually change something because if we're getting in behind the defence, you know, we should really just 
get the ball forward, to be honest. But we're just going to play it a bit more direct, get the ball forward and so on. And if we can nick a winner, that would be absolutely insane. We are getting in behind. That's the thing. Jansen has offered us something different. And there he is again with a shot. It's a good save by Bravo. This has been a real, real good game. Dyer, come on, get a ball. No, that's no, that's not right. Come on, no, no. Oh, my word. I thought City were going to win it. They were so close to doing so. City have actually gone quite defensive. That's a testament to what we've been doing. They've actually put a couple more players back. There's full time, one all. I said at the start, I'll take a draw. And we got one. To be fair, it says it right there. We were unlucky today. We had a real big chance right at the end to win that match. I know City dominated everything, but I'm not too bothered. We came, we had a game plan. It didn't really work for the most part, but we did get through it in the end. We remain three points clear at the top of the Premier League. And we remain unbeaten. And that's one of the hardest games you'll play this season against Man City. They'll probably be title rivals with us. And that is an absolutely huge result. I mean, to get a goal like that right at the end, it's good to see. We remain unbeaten. Seven wins, four draws, 22 goals scored, three against happy days. Okay, so in the next episode, I'm going to be playing Leverkusen and Arsenal. So Leverkusen away from home, as you can see, and Arsenal at home in the Premier League. Obviously, I'll be playing Everton away from home, offline, and then, you know, we've got them two games, because Leverkusen is an absolutely massive, massive game, it's got to be said, you know, we've got to win that game realistically, that has been all for this episode, if you have enjoyed, let me know by dropping a like on the video, also comment down below what you thought of the two matches we played today, and if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys, it is much appreciated, but thank you all for watching, until next time, goodbye.